Well, what a way to open a freaking video with a big foot yelp in the background. That's awesome. And I was recording. So welcome back to another Black Mass Adventure. <laughs> this is great, okay. Um, so the reason why I am out here is um, I recently got notified about an albino Bigfoot sighting that happened out here in dude they're active here holy shit um Dreyer South Carolina State Park uh there was a group of fishermen that were out here and what had happened is they were on their boat and apparently this big freaking white Bigfoot charged at him attacked their boat like fucked their boat all up um and they totally panicked they were able to get away from this thing but um i've been here for five minutes and I heard the first the first thing i heard was bigfoot yelp so um that was pretty cool so uh, i guess that's the video <laughs> just kidding so we're gonna walk around and check out this place. It's super cool. Um, they got some of this. They got a bunch of those old cypress trees, and um, really interesting area. So um, here we go. You have to. I'm pretty worn out. I have been traveling like nonstop. So um, it's been cool. Uh, I want to give a big thank you. Big thank you to my boy Willis. Um, for helping out the way he does and a special thank you to uh, Harry Dunn and Shelly and Lisa uh, y'all are all awesome as well I appreciate it um, thank you all for supporting me and yeah so let's uh, do some exploring see how this place goes My 360 camera is acting weird. I've got to get the right storage cards, I think. Um, it's a part of the problem. I don't know. Uh, kind of sucks. But it is what it is. So I gotta be careful for some cotton mouse out here, I think. Um, yeah, but look how beautiful this is. So they were just kind of fishing, just like these people are. Probably a little bit closer to the bank. And this thing just freaking charged them. So it looks like there's a bunch of trash that gets washed up on shore. Oh my god.
mean, this is an interesting structure. My military background says somebody was learning how to make a improvised lean do. Um, but they definitely didn't finish it. Um, Looks like there's been some heavy tracks coming through here though. <clears throat> you can see how the pine needles are all like really pushed down into the ground. Some digging over there, biting over there. All right, so I'm having some camera issues. <laughs> uh, kind of weird with the new camera. Not sure why that would be happening. Um, <clears throat> the link lean to is interesting. Um, to me, this looks and feels a lot more like dogman territory. Um, I think it's because of the pine trees. Um, but there's several different parts of this area, so I'm just going to explore as much as I possibly can and see if I can find anything definitive. <laughs> Look at all these little frogs coming out of the ground. See how the ground's moving? There's a big old one. <laughs> Don't mess up too much. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, there's a big old bone. Keep getting distracted by what's on the ground. Kind of interesting. Can be a coyote bone. It's pretty big. Big old crane. All right, so <laughs> try this again. I'm gonna head on over to the next spot. Uh, look around, see what I can find. Go a little bit deeper in this park, and uh, yeah, here we go.
Okay. Now, we're just going to kind of meander through the woods. Meander, Miranda. Okay. Gimbal a little bit more stable here. This is a totally unfamiliar area to me. Uh, this is... So, you gotta bear with me. What I am seeing a lot of is quartz. And from being out in the field a lot, um, there seems to be some sort of correlation with the amount of quartz that is around and the Bigfoot activity. There's an obvious, there's a game trail. I don't know if you'll see, you can see it, spot that. Comes up, comes right, meanders right back through there. So, once uh, shit hits the fan, you want to pay attention, you want to be paying attention to things like this here. Um, because that is exactly where you would want to set a noose. Now, we do have some sort of nest here. Not gonna mess with it too much. I also wanted to talk today. <clears throat> oh, also I wanted to say thank you to today's sponsor, which is Happy Hippo. Um, they offer a wide variety of natural products that will help you deal with a lot of your aches and pains, your anxiety issues, your sleep issues. Um, one of my favorite products is the powdered kratom leaf that they sell. It's not an extract, it's just the pure leaf form um, taken in small doses. Uh, it will help with your aches and pains and joints and uh, really help enhance your mood. They're also releasing a new product called uh, the Kava Shots, which is another plant. Um, it comes from the Kava plant. Uh, from my previous knowledge, I believe, uh, the Kava plant is native to Hawaii. So... Uh, it's also another um, version. Uh, it's related to, so it's very similar to Kratom in that aspect, but um, the Kava plant acts as more of a kind of anxiety uh, reducing natural solution to some, you know, personal issues you might be having. So, uh, links in the description. Cobweb, nope. Not me. Not this guy. Oh, it looks like a meteor. Look at that. That's an artillery shell. I'm like 90% sure that's an artillery shell. Which is really cool. But I don't have a way of getting it out of the ground. I would love to have that though. This 
So that's like a Civil War, I believe, artillery round. I might be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But some of the cool stuff I find out here doing this. Man, I wish I could get that out. Moving along. Sorry, I'm really trying to improve the quality of my content. Um, I know my content can be kind of boring. Um, sometimes, most of the time, it's usually just me walking in the woods. But, you know, it is a new place. Um, it's a interest. I go to interesting areas. Um, you never really know what you're gonna find. You're not always going to be able to get paranormal activity. Um, it's just it's just the way that it works. I hope I caught that because that sounded like another yelp. But anyway, the, um, so I've had a lot of people ask me about one, what is my opinion on all of this stuff? Where do these creatures come from? I think there's two possible answers, and I think both can be right at the same time. I think one, these Bigfoot, the dogmen, are Nephilim. Um, I definitely think that's a possibility um, my most likely possibility that leads me to my next um, kind of opinion is that the way the paranormal works um, is based off our misunderstanding of time so these ghosts, these creatures, they are existing on a parallel plane, basically. Um, sometimes those planes overlap. Um, I think that explains the missing persons um, sometimes. Um, I think it explains the John, John Doe cases a lot of the times, um, where essentially people just basically... Or these creatures that exist either on a different plane or on another timeline just end up coming through a portal and then that's when that visualization the audio happens and then they exit our existence so um, but that's just me when I first started getting into uh, like ghost hunting and things like that I had a totally different perspective, you know, I thought that, like, kind of when you die, you would just kind of roam the earth aimlessly, you know, if you were not saved, or you were going to hell, um, I don't think that's necessarily true, um, uh, one, I don't think that our God would do that to us, um, regardless of, um, our behavior, um, I think it would give us an infinite, an infinite amount of opportunities to correct ourselves. Um, I just, that's my perspective. Um, take it as you will. Uh, that's my view of a loving God. Um, but with these Bigfoot and these time, the way time is interpreted, um, along with the ghosts, um, I think that that's kind of what we are experiencing when we experience ghosts. Um, you know, I know on YouTube there's more fake paranormal content than there is real paranormal content. And that kind of sucks. But, uh, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, I just wish people would just say it. 
you know, I would still watch it, watch a lot of it. You know, there's a lot of creators that um, I watch and it's fake and I know it and I don't care. I, I like horror. I just view it like a horror film. So, but yeah, anyway, I'm not trying to start any drama with any llamas. So, um, yeah, quick perspective. Um, looks like this is the center part of a loop. So we're going to try to go to the next loop. And a lot of you all ask, why do I do the majority of my videos during the day? And there is a simple answer for that. So you can see, um, yes, the dark uh, Bigfoot searching videos and dog man searching videos at night. Those are, those are scary, right? But I'm looking for evidence, like real evidence. I want it to be caught in 4K. I want you all to be able to look at it and be like, yep, that's exactly what that is. Um, because, you know, in the night, all kinds of stuff happens. You know, there's weird bar barred owls. Um, the forest essentially come alive when, you know, the uh, sun goes down. But finding, like, the prints and stuff that I find, I mean, you couldn't find those at night. Come on. Um... And you can't see anywhere past, like, where my flashlight goes. So, yeah. But, I'll tell you what. That freaking experience that I had with, I think was a feral person, was the most terrifying experience I've ever had. Now, oh yeah. So... A lot of you all had commented um, in that video, why are you taking so long to get out of there? Um, so, most of you will know that I'm former military. So, my first instinct wasn't just to run blindly into the woods. And, and this really kind of is why um, I hope that you all can kind of relate to this. Um, this is those of you all who, that have reached out to me that are wanting to come investigate with me. Um, in situations like that, the worst thing that you can do is drop all your gear and take off running. Um, you could get, at that point, if you're not attacked, you're lost in the woods. You have no way of knowing where you're going. Uh, second of all, I was more interested in getting my helmet on for my personal safety than for bike safety. I've been knocked out in the woods, like unconscious. Um, it kind of sucks because it like damaged on my video. Um, but I was, I think I was either hit clubbed or I was hit by a widow maker. One of the two. But in that situation with the feral video, um, it was important for me to keep my eyes focused on where I thought the threat was coming from. And basically get ready for battle in case that thing came charging out at me. I would much rather have a bicycle helmet on than no helmet at all. So it was important for me to get that on and get that strapped. Um, but that's just my personal experience. Um, I would assume the majority of my military guys on here would recognize kind of what I was doing. Um, I wasn't, you know, necessarily worried about bike safety <laughs> I was worried about getting myself protected if this thing came out charged me because you know surviving that between having a helmet on having a pistol you know I would uh, 
<clears throat> I mean, my chances were a lot better. So hope that explains some questioning of what happened in the feral video. Yeah, it is getting hot. Uh, so uh, I'm going to try to do my best to check out a couple more spots. Um, I might break this kind of up um, over several days, maybe. I don't know. Um, we'll see. But if not, I um, hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Definitely give this video a like. And um, yeah. You know, this is... I don't, I don't know. This, this, this situation was a little bit weird. Um, it was a really cool area. So... I wanted to come down and I wanted to check it out. I wanted to look and at least see what was here. Um, you know, this is in Dreyer, Dreyer Island um, in South Carolina. Uh, it's basically outside of Columbia. Um, you know, not very, we're like two hours away from the ocean. Um, so it's not a beach. definitely not a beach trip um it was just somewhere that was kind of close that i wanted to get out and go check out at least so yeah there's some cool looks like some kind of old chimney Maybe? Maybe not? 